Because I'm either you're either gonna be playing him. Survival. this up there. Three, two, one, go! What's up, everybody? It's um, Mulaka Flocka here. We're about to start the tournament. Uh, brackets have been seeding, so you can check out DC Sports Lands at challenge.com slash Fantastic Weekly number 28, or Fantastic Smash 28 uh, for the bracket. We're going to start as soon as this friendly is over, because Ray wants to get body by Wadi on stream for some reason. And then, um, yeah. Give us one second. I believe Hero Puff will be on stream uh, commentating at first. Crits wants to get his match on stream for once, so um, he's playing me. So you'll have that uh, quote unquote pleasure. It'll be fast, don't worry. And yeah, we're going to get started very, very soon. Thanks, guys.
That's the only yeah. person I don't know by name. Everyone else I know. Survival! Zero Suit Samus! Survival! Oh, right, T everyone. Welcome back to another Fantastic Smash 4 here at the Fantastic Store. I'm here up over in the mic by myself. Uh, I don't know if I'll be on myself all night, but we do have a lot of talent here. It's another, I'd say, mini invitation, MDVA invitation. We have Wadi here, of course. We have Familia, Sci Fire. Uh, a good amount of uh, RVA came out. Um, Iota came. We have Porty here, Zephyr. I don't know if Vice was entering. But you know, I've got a lot of talent here today, and obviously, we're gonna see a lot of it on stream. So, right now, we're gonna start off with Prince, my commentating partner, versus uh, Buaka Flaka RTO here. Um, we'll see how that goes. We're gonna have a Lucas, most likely, versus a. I don't even know who he uses anymore. Either it's gonna be a Ganon, a Captain Falcon, a DK, or a Mario. <laughs> Hopefully everyone had a great Thanksgiving, great Black Friday. You didn't spend too much money. You put yourself in a debt trying to get that perfect Christmas gift. Alright, we're going to start it here. Who do you end up picking? Alright, so he ends up going up Cloud. And this can be a weird matchup for, uh, for Lucas, you know. He is floating, he can keep him out pretty well. But um, 
you know, it comes down to the fact that Bob with his great mobility, great movement, able to, it's gonna, he's going to be able to find his way in easier than other characters that get zoned out. And um, uh, Lucas being so floaty, making it so much harder for him to land. It's not the best landing options. You know, we have near, down air, sometimes even back air, but you know, nowhere near the, the best landing options. Especially with a move like up air, Lucha Lair is really keeping them up there, man. keeping them jokers going. Right now, though, Crit's off to a pretty solid start. And try to go for that edge guard there with the back here, but Luck Fuck is saying, nope, sorry, getting him with that limit cross slash. And now, uh, has him off stage and most likely is dead and saving his life. Wow, yeah. And now we're having Zephyr on the mic with me, but. Ray! Hey! Alright. Test, 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 test. Okay, we're on. Alright, so. That was a really good limit cross slash. Yeah, I was just saying that earlier. That was actually really good. That was the only thing he was saying was like the situation. Could have gone for that up B, but pretty sure it would have traded at least. But that disjoint, this limit cross slash was a very good option. Going for a lot of down airs. Uh, it's a good move. But good move, but uh, easily punished. Especially if you don't auto cancel it, which uh, he hasn't really been doing right now. Dash attack, not going to kill yet, but close. Oh, this is the uh, rip snake. Just, go, just keep staying control. Yep, trying oh. to put that pressure on, but only getting the end of it. He was able to pop straight out. Yeah, it was good, um, good awareness, but a little too far away. But the down air, uh, rising down air, will take the stop. It's a half limit charge. Got to get back on stage. Another down air. Damn. Yeah, I'm not sure Chris really knows what to do about that at the moment. He's got hit with almost every single one. A lot of PK fires right now being thrown. What do you think of Jeb? Come on. Oh, not going for the brain blast yet. Not at kill percent, but and there's the crits. A, yeah, there's the crits. Going for that up smash read. Kind of got, a, honestly, a much worse punish than what Blood fucking threw out. Blast? Getting lucky. Oh. Yeah, that, also that limit he, uh, him out there. He, so, he did the up air a little early. Back air will kill. It looked like he did the up air a little early and the clad hadn't quite reached the peak of the, uh, the spike into the ground from the throw. So I'm wondering if maybe that helped too. Either way, though, Crits recently picked up by Permafrost, taking game one. Let's see what Block, uh, Flocka does here. If he's going to stay at the cloud, he's going to go to his four other characters that I mentioned earlier. What's he got? He's got a Bayo. Peach. He's got a Captain Falcon. Mario. DK. Mario. Uh, what is this Wii Fit trainer? Crits has a Wii Fit trainer? I, I couldn't tell you. I could not tell you. All right. We're going to Dreamland. I had no idea Crits had a Wii Fit. We're going to Dream Yeah, yeah. yeah it's cool. Alright, so I have never seen him even mess with Wii Fit before. So. Neither have I. But... It's a good stagger jab there. Just two, two into the jab and then the grab. Good mix up. It's honestly a. It's honestly a meta thing. You see a lot of people, you know, they won't finish a lot of their jabs on its own. Especially with creators with rapid jabs. Right. But I think honestly it's more effective with characters like Mario, because you expect them to finish a gentleman a lot of the time. Sometimes going for that one or the two really messes up and you can go for a lot of more short push. Alright, so right now Block of Flock is doing pretty well. Just about double percentage. Yeah, I do that. think because Mario is his best character out of uh, all the ones he named. His Captain Falcon's gotten okay. But yeah, Mario has the advantage of being a little bit less punishing than Captain Falcon is. Um, has an easier time landing, doesn't get common nearly as hard. Right, a little bit better um, aerial stuff in neutral. Oh, good reflection on the ball. Up smash. Trying to get the read there. Wasn't able to get it, but it was short just in time. Crit's still keeping it even. Yeah. All these tray hits. If Crit's um, puts on the deep breathing, then most of his attacks will kill at this point. But, ooh, that's a re-grab. Oh. Yep. Wasn't, uh, if he was a little bit closer and angled it downwards, that definitely would have been good stock. Right. And the back air is going to seal it. Yeah, it catches the jump out of the plant. That was really good. Um, down smash, when Blocka had the re -grab, that would have uh, caught as well. Going for that really hard read of that F smash. This is where a lot mm. of mid-level little players you will see, they will go for consider this percent, especially with a character like Mario, where it's not really guaranteed setups. Right. Not this percent, they'll just go for a lot of smash attacks. Right, just try to hit with the smash attack and confirm it. Good tomahawk there by Delaka. 
Um, I was gonna say crits is and that's he it. Probably will be dead. No, oh, magnet really hands. That's dead. Um, I was gonna say crits got really offensive there for a second. I think he felt like, hey, I've got the advantage here. Um, let me just go super offensive. Down smash gonna send him off. And he does spike. get the spike. That spike's actually kind of hard to hit, so. Yeah. Good stuff's going through that disjoint. He's able to trade and ceiling for the set for him. Crit's going, going to advance 2-0. All right, so up next, looks like we might have Perry and Baby Cakes, possibly. Nope. Who do they call? Oh, Primid and ATP. Primid and ATP. Now, this is going to be a good one. I, still, I feel like they're both really close. Well, they're really close in skill level. Mm -hmm. ATP being a Polyutana main. Uh, had a career to crisis a little bit over the summer, but finally able to find his like, true true soul, I feel like, in Polyutana. Really been trying to hone it. And Primid, I say this every, every time he's on the stream, but you know he's my little apprentice You know, as a Fox main. Uh, also, that was around with Diddy Kong as well. Right. I played Primid a few weeks ago. And doing fairly well. Still got some uh, yeah. habits to iron out that everybody does. And also falls into that very common mindset of like when it comes down to the wire, when it's both a high percent, last luck, last hit, you end up doing a lot of the same, not really mixing up or anything, playing really scared. And not really, you know, not honestly thinking because, you know, just, I'm afraid of what's going to happen. I right. really want this game. Uh, but that all comes down to experience and going to keep going to tournaments. And that's what he's been doing. He's been feeding it. Right. That's one of the hardest things to develop is that clutch factor. Yeah. When you're in last hit, last stock, and you know that your game or even your site is on the line, just tamping down on the nerves and being patient and looking for the opening or putting pressure on to create yeah. the opening, it's hard to do. That's not something you can really develop outside of a tournament situation yeah. because the pressure is just not the same. Yeah, because especially with a character like... Fox, you totally have that factor on him at all times. His kill power and his burst damage is ridiculous. Right. So, I definitely feel like he, once he figures out what he needs to do, he can't pull it off. And also in neutral, <laughs> he, he uh, has very predictable patterns. Right. So, see if you can iron those out. All right, so ATP going Palutena, Primid going his Fox. We're going to start off on Battlefield, looks like. Good stage for both of them. Fox yeah. obviously gets a lot of the platforms with his up tilt up air combos. Uh, Palutena can do a lot of her teleport cancels off the platforms. Not a bad stage for either one. The thing I want to see uh, ATP do a lot of is um, approaching with back air. Because yeah. Palutena's back air is just such a good approach option. Um, they'll be pretty safe on Fox. Get some good job. A little short on the dash grab, but no punish from Primit. Now, one thing I feel like you do need to do in this in this matchup is really play mid range, kind of dabble around there, especially with Fox having his movement. He has the speed to really go and go for those mix ups, back air, and uh, just running up and grabbing dash attack. Because uh, she doesn't have that much science fair uh, jab and uh, dash grab. Right. So. ATV actually got the down throw, but missed the fair follow up, and Fox is bringing it back now. Only two up tilts. Good job waiting there. Try to continue his onslaught, but not able to continue and now we're reset. Yep. Very nice grab out of that. A little uh, punish there and oh, really for the spike. for everything. Neutral air up. Good option. And there's that back air coming down with it. Oh, it was, that was actually really good because that covered if you were going on top of the ledge. But, uh, Right. Herman, I guess, catching a stop charging is like, you know, I'm gonna just <laughs> snap on this ledge real quick. Ooh, tries to uh, ledge cancel the teleport, misses it, and eats an up smash. It's almost gonna kill. If you're gonna use tech like that, you have to perfect it before playing the tournament. Okay, so ATP has used uh, jump up neutral air twice now. Let's see if he does it again. I see the teleport cancel again, but Herman wasn't quick enough to get the punish. Yeah, didn't quite get over far enough for it. How does it not dare? Back air? Misses it again. Yeah, he's been landing with a lot of the same options right now. Let's see if he comes on. Yep, jumping off for again. This time, just staying away from the ledge. I'm really surprised that um, Prima didn't go for a down smash there. So, Prima has done a really good job of bringing this back. Don't air dodge. Okay, I was here. He did air dodge, but no, uh, no up smash. That would clean it up, getting that up air. Yeah. Prima taking that. a early... Not early, but... Uh, Pretty good lead if he were to get this burst damage that Fox has going for him. Ooh, that's not a safe option. He jumped and immediately teleported. He was way too low for the uh, ledge cancel. Now he's gonna need some damage. 
Up there, up there. Going for another one. Alright, does get the ledge cancel that time finally, but he is having a really hard time landing. Grab and the up air. Yep. It's coming up the ceiling. Yeah, you cannot DI that in. If you DI that in, it's guaranteed up air every time. I don't know every time, but. I mean, on a character like Fox, too, uh, you're gonna be so fast. Alright. That's the game. The frame traps? Ooh. Yep. So Primid actually using the platforms to pyramid Palutena up, but unable to quite follow it up on the top platform. Jumping in the jab jab up smash. Not quite yet. Ron Battlefield is not going to do it yet. Palutena, not the lightest, but you know. Forward throw? She has some weight. Down smash. That's a forward smash, that's okay. That's, oh, I could have been worse. And really smart by Primit there, he moved straight to the edge of the platform because he knew that ATP was going to go for the uh, ledge cancel teleport, so he was right in position to punish it. Good awareness on his part. That's what I'm saying, is uh, Primit is doing a very good job right now, basically identifying what he's been doing and covering it. Now ATP really haven't looked like hard, having a hard time adapting right. to what, uh, to the change that's been in front of him, so. Hmm. <laughs> Taking it straight back to Battlefield, maybe he feels he could change something. Three, two, one, go! go. Uh, right into the jab, smart on permit to hold it as long as he could. And really, it seems like ATB is just having a really hard time approaching from it. Like he's kind of backing off and he's trying to come in, but permit just playing really patient, doing a good job of um, just using the frame data. See him right now. That's something is new that I've seen from uh, approaching with these full hop down airs and uh, fast volume, getting the auto cancel frames and just able to keep on putting pressure. Okay, I like the uh, the pause dash by ETP. He dashed forward, paused, tried to wait on the option and get the uh, dash grab, but Herman Smart just rolled away. Get that first. Nope. Don't hit a jab. Yeah, unable to follow up after that again. Air dodge is through the up air. I don't know if he's trying to say that for later, but you know, every time he's in the air, uh, ETP just air dodges. So. And ATP again, just having trouble figuring out how to get in on this box. Um, kind of sticking to the platforms, jumping around, eats an up smash there. No. I just want to say one thing right now. If you know you'll die to a lot of your smash attacks at this point. Why not, why not go for a lot of grabs? Because you're always going to be in shield. Right. You'll open it up some more. Because yeah, uh, they're not going to kill, but it'll definitely put on percent, make it easier, and open up even more up just to kill. Up air, uh, falling up air, back air. Right. Way too early on that. Went for the back air stage spike, but a little bit too early. Um, ATB got to calm down a little bit here. Like, he, he's picking okay options. Except for that, that wasn't a great option. But, um, but he's got to calm down and just time it and space it better. This could. Oh, that should have been a hard punish, but Herman not able to get through the platform. And just throwing all the up airs while he's stuck in that platform. Not able to get down and getting caught by one of them. Yeah, so the same situation we were in last time. Herman was about this percent last stock. And he got a free like 60 some percent out of combo before. Okay. Every time he's teleporting, he's going for that ledge cancel. Um, you got to mix it up a little bit. And again, he DI's in and eats the up air. I think what he's trying to do is mix up the DI, but at that point, you're light enough character, you can just DI away and it makes it a 50-50. Right. I'd rather take that than a 100%. <laughs> okay, so I do like that option by ATP. He actually ran off stage and then came back on with the back air. That's a really good option to cover anything that Kermit is going to throw out and trade with it uh, in his favor. There's that neutral air get up again. He hasn't used it for a little while, so not a bad option this time. Up there, going to look for a back air maybe? ATP is having a really hard time finding his way landing in this, uh, this box, especially when it comes to platforms. He is just stuck on there and doesn't really know what to do. 
Yeah, looking for the neutral. Hard, oh. Going for it again, and Oh, no. Oh, just a little too early on the down smash by Kermit. <laughs> ATP, uh, very lucky to get away from him with his life there. Again, going for that ledge cancel. Not smart with Kermit right there to punish. And you can see Kermit, or ATP keeps jumping up to the platform. When you're at this percent, you don't want to put yourself above Fox. Yeah, That's exactly. one of the worst places you can be. Yeah, uh, like, and honestly, you can't stay in Shogun more as well because right. his grabs aren't going to kill you at all. But you have to be careful with him, especially because you know he's going to have to try and go in eventually. You have decent spacing. Adequate at best spacing, actually, but still able to keep out the canine. Yep. Really <laughs> good job by... Uh, by Primid there. Yeah. So up now we're going to have Sapphire and Ash. Mm. Ash That's 23. So now Ash has brought back the Bowser, so do you think we're going to see that in this matchup? Into Bayonetta. Um, I would say he'll probably start Ryu because Bowser gets comboed all the hell by Bayonetta. Um, he'll probably start Ryu, see how that goes. Um, I don't remember the last time Sapphire was up here. I'd be surprised if his name is still in the system. Could be. It's not too long, but that would be solid there. Um, so Sapphire, one of Sova's Bayonetta players. Yeah. Sova has several Bayonetta players. Um, I mean, Bayonetta's been popping out everywhere recently, because people were really, like, figuring out, like, she is a very solid character, you know. All right, we're going to start on Titan City. We're going right into it. So main thing to look for here, um, Sapphire is pretty good at converting over the Bayo combos, yeah. but his neutral game is his weakest part of his game for the most part. And when I played him this last week at Anvil, you know, uh, a Smash, like, Smash TI, I don't want to tell you this, but Smash TI really, really helps you in this match. Because he's one of the better converting uh, Bayos, in my opinion, uh, yeah. uh, in the region, but was able to Smash TI stuff is making it really hard for him to get anything going. Right. Both of these characters are very explosive, both have pretty good combos, can kill very early each. But um, I think Ryu being the one that I think almost a little bit more scared of, you get caught in those up tilt shorts, those down tilt shorts. Right, especially with Bayonetta being as light as she is. Yeah. And her, oh, and her gravity being pretty uh, pretty heavy, so right. it's going to be harder for her to get out of that. Right. I like right. the mix-up, but not able to, or not falling for it, but Cypher getting a punish of his own. Oh, very smart there, avoiding the witch time, and went for the forward smash, but really good reaction down tilt. And again, you see Ash just kind of moving around. Um, he's doing a good job of ev evading these initial hits. He's just got to hit the punish punishes. Here we go, the up tilt and the true sure you. Yep, 98%, that's all it takes. That's the thing, though, was that Reed, not only does he have that stuff, but he has really good low percent numbers, especially Ooh. on characters like Bayonetta. So Falling, which giving him the Hulk Hogan, trying to keep the onslaught going off stage with those bullet arts. I will continue. That. Hulk Hogan, that's the first time I've ever heard it called that. Back air's gonna take it. Really? Uh, swerve. Down throw up oh, there? Okay. Oh no, good. He beats out the air dodge, and he's got the up tilts going. Oh, the in the reset. reset. Oh, but not quite close enough to the forward smash. That was some slug stuff coming in from Ash. If you were able to continue that, that could have been very positive positive in the start, especially in Town City. All right, now Sapphire is getting to the point where he's higher in percent. This is kind of where he panics a little bit. Yeah. That, oh, miss input? Yeah, very positive. Very possible. All right, see if Ash can get out of it. Yep, it's out of the combo. Oh, actually, eats the down air. They're really good down air, but fires the guns the wrong way. Yeah, and that's the second time he's done something like that, so he's going to maybe have to put that in the pocket for now. Oh, he's got to land. If he does it again, he's going to get punished very hard by this reading. So Sci-Fire now doing a lot of up B to side B combos. Um, panicking a little bit. He's got to calm down because Ash is going to just wait it out. Back air almost going to take it there. Oh, catches him jumping. Focus his attack nice. That can take it. it. Again, a side B onto the platform. Um, if you've got somebody right under the platform waiting, it's really unsafe because the ending lag just are open to punishes. Especially right. with characters very strong aerials, very strong smash attacks that reach up there. Right. Not bad by Sci-Fi though. Um, he had some good down airs that he caught Ash with. Yeah, but 
He did that twice in that just that game alone. Right. So I think Ash maybe cut on a little bit or should have cut on. Keep that in the back of his head. Yeah. Ash does pick up on things pretty quickly. Oh, there's no jump. But that's okay. Oh, I'm just spacing out with the back airs right now. Unable to finish the combo, or keep the combo going. Oh, he runs into the back oh, hit. the back heel of it. And yeah, this thing, Cyber is actually pretty decent in um, reading. Yes. Which time moves. should not be stopped yet. Unless he... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm dead. Close. Remember Town City, though, may have been a different story, and that focus on straight through it, trying to continue with the back air, but does not... That's within saving him. Yep, that's within saving uh, Sapphire's life, though. Back here, not quite going to kill yet, but they are just about even. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Get the eyes inside. Get away from the up air. Very nice wave there. Back here, going to take it. Now, I don't think Cypher really has an answer to his falling with focus time yet. Um, you think Wish Toast would be an answer? Yeah, absolutely. Or just move away. Yeah. Um, what you don't want to do is challenge it with single hits, though. Really good back here. Yep. Catch Slash coming down off the platform. Oh, up there. No, go for the back air. Up tilts. Wispy actually kind of... Saving his life a little bit. Saving it? Yeah, it was bittersweet because it got him stuck in that combo. But um, uh, here comes the witch twist. And look at something going. Yep, quick 0 to 35. Yeah, right now, Ash keeps falling down with this focus attack. Almost as if he's... He's, he's challenging Zephyr yeah. to say, hey, do something about this. Oh, nice. oh that's not going to kill see how long you can get this going if this can be the stock oh there was the witch twist reset and that will kill yeah Next. you know honestly what he what he could have done there was he because there are some technology that some bayos do they be reversed the second mm -hmm. so they make it they make it where your di isn't actually where you want to go right you're diing the proud burn and then yeah. they be reverse it to make your di incorrect and so yeah because yeah, thinking knowing ash he would most likely di oh, away here comes so. here comes the bowser now honestly i think the ryu was doing fine you just got banned Right. But. Well, at the same time, you might feel like Sapphire's uh, figured out a couple on. things. Um, hasn't played any Bowsers for a while. So, why not? Oh, the Jad. Oh, okay. Emerald, the Jad Emerald has a Bowser now. <laughs> Emerald has a Bowser now? Oh, Emerald. Oh. Mm, Bayonetta the eating these Bowser combos. The one thing you cannot do against Bowser is throw out unsafe dodges, yeah. air dodges, spot dodges, anything, especially Ashes. He is so. This character is so good at punishing landmarks. You either you will get a certain amount of percent, or your stock will be gone. And so I'm like, why did I die for this percent? Balloon actually it's saving so Bowser from eating more damage there. You can see Ash very smart, running around right now, trying to bait something out. You'd grab the Sapphire. Oh, and back air! Back air. As we said earlier, you're only looking for that air dodge and punishing it perfectly. Actually, no, he air dodged through him. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Combo. We had retaliating just that quick, saying, I'm Bayonetta. That was nothing to me. All right, so we are at the end here. And Ash now air dodging a lot. That's another thing you can't do against Bayonetta. You can't air dodge because yeah. her aerials come out quickly enough that she'll punish. And right now, throwing a lot of hitboxes, and then side front, or Ash is catching on a little bit. He's kind of just waiting underneath, waiting for that cooldown. All right, so now Ash backing off a little bit, resetting neutral, trying to play a little bit patient, but again, grab into the Bayonetta combos. DI's out there. And there it is again, up B to side B. That's Sapphire's favorite thing to do. I was just about to say, one thing I really don't see Ash using enough of when he uses Bowser, I think, is the grounded up B. Yeah. Ash here. He does it a fair bit, he just hasn't done it too much in this match for whatever reason. But, and okay. actually gets Ash DI. Grab to neutral air. Neutral air, yep. 100%. And honestly, Ooh, I want to say this is still an even game just for the fact the amount of rage he has and Bowser's kill power. Yes, definitely. Now we could be saving this Invincible Love Smash. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Right. This might kill. No, not yet. But one more. Sci-Fi is at kill percent now for a lot of Bowser stuff. And you can see Ash trying to bait out the grab. There he goes. This, could, this be could be it. Yep, yeah, that's it. It is it. Gets hit by the Koopa. So good patience there at the end by Ash. Um, Sci-Fire, I don't know, he was 
doing well when he was still playing aggressive. Like, he was going in, going for grabs, and doing the combos. Once he got close to kill percent, he kind of backed off, and he gave Ash the room to get those grabs. Uh, um, I also feel, you know, he was being really overzealous with his hitboxes. Bayonetta can do that, but to an extent when you're playing against a character like Bowser, like, and once you notice and catch on to that stuff, you could, he was just waiting there, right. waiting for him to land and just getting punishes. Yep. All right, so it looks like we're going to have Nefer versus Iota. Really? Nefer Black Yoshi, maybe. Oh, yeah, we're going to have Nefer versus Black Yoshi. Hi. Oh, my mic's been on the whole time. <laughs> I hope I didn't say anything incriminating. Hi, Hero Puff. Hi. You don't sound very happy with me. I'm not. No, I'm kidding. Do you not like me? No, I like you. You should. I have no reason for you to like me. No. So anyways, we've got Mr. Black Yoshi going against uh, Mr. Nepfer. This is going to be the last of the winners round two matches we're streaming. Uh, next will be quarters with uh, Iota and QWERTY. So Nepfer opting to go with the villager. And Black Yoshi looking for his name. Wake up. Put a little makeup. Have a special up. I need to put this somewhere else. Put this over here for now. Alrighty. But yeah, I'm gonna have Black Yoshi Bayonetta main, who is should be PR'd, and if he is not PR'd, I'm gonna be mad. Up next versus uh Nefer. Yeah, sure, come on up. I'm gonna have ZA join me on the mic. Alright, we're starting off on FD. Now, this isn't a terrible. This isn't something bad. No, I honestly. Uh, good bayonetas can still combo and can still ladder you to death in. on FD. So, uh, that being said, you know. Yeah, this isn't her. I'm pretty sure, obviously, Black Ocean did not want to go here first. And I don't know how they actually got here. <laughs> because this is. It, after all, this is better for Villager. Able to space, make that fortress in the walls. Uh, bears, bears, and continue this combo for days. I didn't. I missed how the stock was taken. All right, real commentary now. <laughs> Black Yoshi showing off that booty. Going <laughs> to the sour spot of that tree. If it was sweet spot, that actually would have taken the stock. And getting the axe and the taunt. Here we go. Enough for get pretty hyper right now. Yeah, it looked like almost like that Black Yoshi died out. I wonder if he's trying to roll back. He had an oh shit moment. Oh my god, going for the reads of the <laughs> gods there. I'm slipping with that grab, kind of punish. Yeah, Black Yoshi. The down smash was an interesting option. Knowing Villager, I don't think it would 